Wiper leader Kalonzo Musioka has thrown his weight behind proposals to amend the Constitution using the BOMAS draft as the model. The proposed changes will ensure equity and regional balance in the governance of the country, he says. The NASA principal, however, wants restraint from the creation of positions for individual leaders. Kalonzo prefers a constitutional moment to advance the unity, peace and development of the country, we need to have a serious re-look at the Constitution. The amendment of the Constitution is the all-important thing now, he said on Friday. He addressed the party's National Executive Council parliamentary group during a retreat at Almentita Country Lodge in Naivasha, Nakuru County. Wiper is on a two-day retreat in Naivasha to reflect on the elections, rebranding and the way forward. Kalonzo announced that the party will be rebranded and strengthened at the grassroots and constituency levels. The politician said the constitutional moment is for Kenya to amend and perfect the supreme law to ensure diversity and ethnic balance, we have to embrace national dialogue and share serious ideas about the future of our country, he proposed that the amendments be based on the BOMAS draft, where every community will be represented in case of reconstitution of the government. On the April 9 handshake between President Uhuru Kenyatta and opposition leader Raila Odinga, Kalonzo said, the issue is not the handshake. The issue is a serious national conversation about the future of Kenya. Following the president's apology, he proposed all those facing political cases in courts be forgiven and the matters withdrawn. On March 2, the president asked for Kenyans' forgiveness for not uniting the country during last year's elections period. In his State of the Nation address that day, he said all politicians must admit that they failed in their duty to preserve unity and make amends. He praised Rayla for the statesmanship he demonstrated when he agreed to work with him. Several leaders, including DP William Ruto and Homa Bay Woman Representative Gladys Wonga, followed suit and apologized for their mistakes. More on this, forgive me for not uniting you, Uhuru tells Kenyans, makes up with Babu Oin also read, forgive me too, Ruto tells Kenyans after Uhuru's State of the Nation speech the wiper boss said, as a show of goodwill and to prove that the handshake is working. All pending criminal prosecutions against politicians, and particularly concerning the Pangani Six, should be dropped and the Nali Prosequi entered. On June 17 last year, eight politicians were arraigned in court and released on bail for alleged hate speech after spending four days in the cells. Johnston Muthama, Junet Muhammad, Timothy Bosire, Moses Kuria, Kamani Nunjiri and Ferdinand Waiti II were held at Pangani Police Station while Aisha Jamwant Florence Mutua were taken to Madaiga. As the handshake unravels, Rayla has proposed a three-tier government but Ruto has opposed this. Jubilee Party Secretary General Rafael Tuju HSAID The government is not planning to change the executive but a chief minister post may be created. Read, Ruto trashes Rayla's proposal for three-tier governance Whether details, Jubilee won't change executive, law will decide IEBC's fate. Tuju click here for the latest political news.